Hi, this is Kelly Hine. I used to be a control freak. I'm sure I didn't think so at the time, but you know, letting go of control, letting go, trying to control and fight against what was really never in my power or my business to control anyway, it's been the biggest thing that's helped me to be more peaceful, more happy, more calm, even healthier. I mean, I used to have so much neck and back pain as a younger person, and I know that it's letting go of control has even just, just softened me. You know, our whole body tightens and tenses when we're in a state of trying to control and fight against what is. And I know that that is why I, I no longer have that neck and back pain. So even in terms of, of health, I know that I'm healthier for this. So letting go what we can't really control is so powerful. And on the other hand, when we are in the control freak state, we're actually less in control than anyone because we're fighting to control what we really can't control. We're trying to control or fight against other people's behavior or the way that things are in the present moment. Trying to make everything perfect or just the way we want it to be as if making things the way we want it to be is the most important thing, as if it's more important than our peace, more important than happiness, more important than having good relationships, more important than our health. And it's not. We've got to stop fighting what we can't control. Now, sometimes we think that it's strong and powerful maybe to to be in a controlling state. If you think of a controlling person, you might think of them as being strong and powerful, but actually that state of wanting to control what isn't in our power or our business to control, it's based in fear. And I have to say, it is a practice. So it's not like I just decided overnight that I would never control anything again. It definitely was a decision. It's definitely a choice because I just wanted to feel better. I didn't want to keep suffering and stressing and just, just, yeah, being such a stress head. And it was affecting my sleep in a really bad way and so many things. But I'll give you an example of how it is a practice. So every time I go to do some filming, like this video that you're watching now, it seems like like all these noises happen, the neighbors, the dogs barking, the, the, the cars, the trucks, the, the planes, you know, all the things seem to happen every time we go to film. And maybe it's just that we notice them at that time, but you know, I could fight against that. And it's really easy to, because it can feel really frustrating. It's a practice. I've got to remind myself, it's okay right now, that is not in my control. If I fight against it, if I try and control it, just in my mind by fighting against it, uh, it's pointless, right? And it just makes me stressed and unhappy. So I can take a breath, okay, let it go. So just take a moment and reflect, what am I trying to control? Even if it's just in your mind, what am I fighting against and wishing I could control? that really isn't your business or in your power to control. And what could you let go, fighting against? Allow yourself to be more peaceful, more happy, more free, and even more healthy. What's one thing you could choose today to let go? If you enjoyed this video, then remember to share it with other people that you think would benefit and subscribe for my updates. You can get a free five minute express meditation that's really easy even for beginners. So leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. What's one thing that you could stop controlling today? Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.